It's Tanya and I'm sorry about that really quick flash of the photographs but you can see them on the screen there and yes I'm up again with the scrapbook challenge that we hold every week in the Facebook forum for the Hip Kit Club and this time I'm using my September kits it's my first layout with them and oh my gosh aren't they just beautiful all those purples and mauves and lilacs and pinks and all the colors it's just so so pretty and of course my daughter having her hair the color it is is just perfect i mean just the stars aligned and yes i'm gonna have a lot of fun scrapbooking these photos actually i if we we decided to go and do something spontaneous because every now and then my kids decide that I'm boring and <laughs> don't do anything, which is true. I'm a homebody. I like to stay home and scrapbook and art and all those kind of things. And they insist every now and then and dragging me out into the outside world. So we went to a local little town called Cork Bay and they have a lot of antique shops and bric-a-brac shops and all those kinds of fun shops. And we went around with my camera and had the most amazing time. It was so much fun and I've got this lens it's a it's a fixed 50 millimeter lens on the camera and I'm so in love with it it just takes gorgeous shots although you do have to go long because otherwise you know you get up the person's nose if you're too close <laughs> but yeah we had so much fun and well what else can I tell you oh my gosh I'm saying that so early on in the video no actually what I want to do what I want to tell you is that of course this is the weekly sketch challenge and it's a sketch by Jill I'm not sure if it's Jill Sprott or Sprout Jill if I'm mispronouncing your surname I do apologize and yeah that's probably very arrogant of me thinking you're watching my videos but anyway we um, are doing her sketch this week and if you go to the Hip Kid Club Facebook forum you can participate and as I always say you do not need to be a member of the club to to actually join in you can use your stash you can use anything you like just as long as you post your layout in the thread that uh, I create each week then you will be able to be eligible for that $10 coupon code for the hip kit club online store and the October kits have been revealed and they are gorgeous so yes maybe you can get that $10 coupon code and use it on them wouldn't that be fun so what have I done as I've been waffling away merrily well I have my it's like a photo strip and I matted it on actually I did use I had some A4 photo paper so I did I used that and then I was fun foamed it and then I decided I needed to mat it on a darker color paper because it wasn't popping enough so that's why I did that and you would have seen in the beginning I got all the frames out there were a lot of frames in the embellishments that came with these kits a lot of it is the Indigo Hills 2 collection from Pink Fresh Studio love it love the first one love this one and yeah we oh gosh yes I did fussy cutting it's very very chuffed with myself I must tell you I think this is a Maggie Holmes speciality paper from her Willow Lane collection I think so if you want to see all the details please go and check out the Hip Kit Club website obviously all those details will be there and you can see exactly what came in these kits or you can watch my unboxing I do those every month as well and yes so there we go look at that magnificent fussy cutting from somebody who very often says she doesn't like fussy cutting so evidently fussy cutting and me are becoming quite good friends and yeah I took that adventure word because I like the length of it and I figured okay there we go my title is going to include that word and then there was of course the one of a kind on there so I figured one could come in and I think I go with, if I remember correctly, I go with life is one big adventure. Because it is. You know, it was the spontaneity of the day and, and the fact that I got all these gorgeous photographs of my kids to scrapbook. And yes, we did have lunch out, which was a bit of a disaster, actually. We went to this very hipster joint. I think I'm too old to be able to say hipster but anyway we went to a hipster joint and we ordered what sounded like good food it was okay 
I mean, it it was obviously edible, and it was definitely you know several steps up from I don't know um, bad food. <laughs> God think of a can't think of an analogy but yeah so we were a little disappointed with that but then we went into the bric-a-brac shops and the antique stores and I asked the dude in the one because it's, it's a very eclectic mix of stuff in this in this one antique shop oh it's just so much fun to go in there and then I asked him if he, if he minded us taking photographs which he very sweetly said he didn't and so we just went around taking loads of photographs and probably annoying everybody in there but hey I don't care <laughs> we got a lot of fun stuff and actually what was what was really and I think I need to buy some is they've got some old film magazines you know the oh I got go suppose they were going back to the 60s or the 50s with all the film stars and on the covers they would be posing and so the kids emulated those poses as well and I'll be scrapbooking those but I think buying some of those magazines could be a lot of fun to use in art journaling and and that type of thing or just to yeah just to mimic the poses they're using because one never knows how you know when somebody points a camera at you you sort of stand all stiff and get this fake smile and you know and look a bit awkward so maybe copying some poses by old famous movie stars could be could be fun <laughs> so there we go I've got my title on and I've got it running down the side there because I'm trying to copy the sketch pretty much you know uh, in the way the sketch was intended but putting my little spin on it with my long titles and yeah then I figured I could have a pocket life card because I do love incorporating those in and I love the purple because it the other color of that paper that I used to back the frame it was a bit soft and muted and of course Tamsin's hair is was looking so pretty there that I needed to bring in a, a deeper a deeper purple or or mauve or lilac whatever you want to call it and ah oh, puffy stickers we do love we do love a good puffy sticker so here I'm just embellishing it and putting bits and pieces on what I tend to do with my first layout when I get the kits because of course we know it's always an overload of product and your brain sort of goes oh my gosh I don't know what to do so I tend to concentrate on a few things like I did with the frames and then go from there and sort of pick up some of the elements and see where I can use them and that is a very weirdly shaped word so it blew my mind and I couldn't get it to work <laughs> it's funny that isn't it how you you, you sort of get a, a set idea in your mind as to what a shape should look like and then and then they do these weird shapes and you kind of get confused and don't know what to do with them I'm gonna have to think of what to do with some of these funky shaped elements we got in these kits and oh these butterflies I had to try and decide what color I wanted to use because I wanted to bring in a bit a bit of a different color you know a sort of color that's gonna pop and that's why I got that nice lime green on there and that's why I got the the pinky color on there because otherwise it was being a little bit matchy matchy you know and oh my gosh did I have the most terrible time trying to photograph this layout oh dearie me we have you know we're in that sort of uh, getting towards summer and I've decided there isn't there isn't any ideal spot around my house that I can take photographs of my layouts because no matter where I put them it just it's dull and then I have to do massive editing to make the picture look pretty and like it does in real life so yeah that's just a little bit of a moan if I'm not moaning about the sun on my videos I'm evidently moaning about something oh dear let's stop the moaning and and let's just embrace these beautiful products <laughs> did I mention how much I love the Indigo Hills 2 collection I'm sure I did it is oh it's just so pretty and there's that rainbow I must think of the, something special you can kind of see it at the bottom of the screen there something special to do with that with that rainbow but yes the colors are just lovely and yeah I know a lot of you are going into fall now and winter so these colors are much more that but uh, hey they work for they work for spring and summer in the southern hemisphere too so it's all good 
and I've just realized I've been awfully rude and I haven't asked how any of you are. I feel like I haven't chatted to you for ages. I don't know, I think I, I need to upload some more videos. This once a week thing isn't working for me. I need to do more, but it's getting the motivation to sit down and actually voice over. Oh, and I do this weird thing with the with the washi tape and this just does not work. And if you haven't realized by now, I'm actually wearing pajamas. <laughs> I don't normally do that. I think my mother ingrained it in me that when you get up, you get dressed and you don't wallow in your pyjamas all day long. My kids don't have that problem at all. My kids stay in their pyjamas for like weeks on end. But uh, no, I don't normally do that. And isn't this a beautiful piece of paper, which is why I'm going to gut it before I mat my layout because oh, it's just so pretty. And I didn't want to waste it, even though I do have the pattern paper add-on, which can I say is just such a good deal. If you want to stretch your kits and, you know, you can't really, aff you know, you don't have a, you can't really afford the add-ons, then um, try and get the paper add-on because it really, really does. You can get so many layouts just, just from that in the main kit. But I think I'm coming to the end, so I'm going to once again invite you to come and join us in the Facebook forum and come and you know, uh, participate in the challenge and I want you to have a fantastic day and yes I am putting everything down and still trying the washi tape but don't worry the washi tape doesn't go on there I just sew around the edges anyway so yes have a wonderful day and we will chat again soon bye bye <laughs>